have to do with the Republican Party is unify. Uh, I hope to see Speaker Ryan focusing on the budget. It's a big job to get the budget down the way it should be. And uh, other than that, I have no uh, no view on it. I it mean, doesn't they bother have to you. Do. The most powerful Republican in Congress isn't telling his people to fully back the presumptive nominee. I don't know that that's what he's saying. He has endorsed me, and I tell you, you see the crowds I'm getting. You saw last night in Houston. You see today in Nevada. Uh, I think we're going to do very, very well. You told me recently that you, your campaign hasn't even really started yet. We really haven't started. We start pretty much after the convention, What's during and after. What's taking so long? Why wait? Come oh well, I'm doing. I'm start. doing well. She has a head start, but I've raised a lot of money for the party. We're doing very well. Millions of dollars just this weekend. Not as much as her. I don't think we need, frankly, as much. And she's selling herself to Wall Street, and the Wall Street fat cats are all putting up a lot of money for her. And I don't even want that kind of money. What I'm doing is, and I don't think we need that money. I don't think I need that money, frankly. I mean, look what we're doing right now. This is like a commercial, right? Except it's tougher than a normal commercial. Look, we're going to raise a lot of money. I've raised a lot of money this weekend. I'm raising it for the Republican Party. I mean, I'm doing a good job. If you look at Reince, he'll say that we have done an amazing job in a very short period of time. I think we're going to have a great convention. And I think we're going to go on to a great victory. It would be nice if the Republicans stuck together. I think because I'm a different kind of a candidate, and, and you know, Paul Ryan said that, I'm a different kind of a candidate, I think that I win either way. I can win one way or the other. With them or without them? I, I do believe that. But I think it because I obviously won the primaries without them. You know, I'm an outsider, and I won the primaries. Um, I do believe that uh, we can win either way, but it would be nice if we stuck together. Last one for you before they pull me out of here. You talk about, you know, I, I talk to a lot of Republicans. Your critics say within your own party, your campaign is not organized well enough. It doesn't have the money and it doesn't have the infrastructure in the battleground states. How do you combat that perception? What are you doing to basically reassure people in your own party that you can actually win? There's a real deep concern about Well, that. if it were short of money, because we're raising a lot of money for the party, but if it were short of money for myself, I would put up my own money. I mean, i just put up my own money if it was at all short How of money. How much would you put up? I'd put up whatever I need to win. I'd put up my own money. Uh, I wouldn't be that generous with it outside. I mean, frankly, people have to contribute money. People have to endorse. People have to really come through. Now, I think, you know, the one thing they're not doing is I've got, I've had so many endorsements. I mean, uh, Daryl Issa called yesterday, and so many people have endorsed me. We have so many great endorsements. Nobody ever talks about that. The delegates at the convention trying to overthrow it. I don't believe that. I think that's the press. Number one, they can't do it legally. Number two, I worked for one year and we won all of those delegates. I, you know, I guess I'm at almost 1,600, 15 to 1,600. Uh, remember they said the most we could get is 1,200 would be short of the magic number, and I got close to 1,600. So we worked for a year, along with other people, and I competed along with a lot of establishment people. I beat them all, and now a couple of them would like to come in through the back door. It's awfully hard when I win, what did I win, 37 or 38 states? So I win 38 states, and somebody else won none, and they're going to be the nominee? I don't think so. Coming up, could this dump Trump movement actually succeed? We're going to get into that after the break. And later, Orlando and the renewed debate over guns in America. We'll hear more from Paul Ryan on this issue and from the Attorney General, Loretta Lynch, who has also has new information about...